Mano Mano contacted me and asked me to build something for them for National Home Improvements Week. The brief was to design and create a lamp that a novice with limited tools could try for themselves. I've had all sorts of dowels and broomsticks from other projects hanging around and I thought this was an ideal opportunity to use them. I started by cutting the dowels to various lengths on the mitre saw. I used a hole saw to create two circles, first the outer circle and then to take a cut out from the centre. I have a drill press but you could easily attach this to a hand drill if you clamp the workpiece down safely enough. My evolution saw cuts beautifully but I still thought it best to sand the angles of the new cuts. I ran the end of each dowel over my bench sander, only briefly. Here I'm gluing up the central ring by mixing up some two-part Gorilla Glue epoxy. This inner ring will form an internal guide for the first ring of dowels. I set the ring at a predetermined height to ensure that the lamp bulb holder and the bulb itself will eventually nestle below the level of the shortest dowels. Now the inner ring was glued up, I took some time to arrange the dowels in a form that I found pleasing to the eye. I then continued to add dowels to the central structure with epoxy, but later found hot glue to be much better. Mano Mano very kindly sent me this silver line finger belt sander. This proved invaluable, especially at this point trying to remove glue squeeze out from deep inside the crater. Yes, I did say crater because I do think it looks a little bit like a volcano, so let's stick with it. It's a volcano lamp. I opted to use a medium oak stain as a base colour. I was happy with the outer colour, but I wanted the inside to catch the light from the bulb, so I sprayed the inside crater with gold spray paint. I put probably two or three coats on until I was happy with the finish. I then removed the cling film covering and gave the entire outside of the lamp base a nice gentle spray coat. I gently sanded and then rubbed the wet paint with some dark wax. This gave an overall bronzed effect to the outside of the base. I was really happy with how this turned out. Here I simply glue in the bulb holder. You can buy these pre-wired with a plug if you aren't confident wiring them up yourself. Oh, there it is. I think that the lamp works as a sculptural piece when turned off and gives a nice glow when it's turned on. This project could be made entirely with hand tools if necessary and I'd really encourage anybody just to go out and have a go for yourself. Thank you to Mano Mano for asking me to collaborate with them. I've really, really had fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.